Hi, have you ever wondered how to incorporate used coffee grounds into your garden? My name's Maura Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and I get lots of coffee grounds because I actually quite enjoy a cup of coffee during my working days and, and I also collect coffee grounds from some of the cafes up in town, well when they're open, not during COVID times. And so coffee grounds are something you can use throughout your garden. Now there's a, there's a myth about this so that you can only use them on um, acid loving plants. Actually once the water has gone through them and they, they're the used coffee grounds they aren't acidic. I actually got my son who's a homeschooler to do a bit of a, a pH testing on the coffee grounds before and afterwards and he confirmed for me that um, the coffee grounds that we'd used were actually 6.5 to 6.8 which is fine. So if you'd like to check it yourself, get a little pH test kit and, and, and try it out as well. So I use this on all different sorts of things, but I tend not to just sprinkle it on top of the garden because a couple of things happen. One is it can get a bit mouldy and, and stinky as well, and it doesn't actually get so well incorporated into the soil. The best way to use the coffee grounds is actually either to put it into a worm farm or a worm tower, or to actually mix it in through the compost and that way it helps to condition the soil, it helps to add extra nutrients into, um, into the compost and or you can even add it as part of one of the layers when you're doing a no-dig garden. So I'll put a link down below to the different things of how to make a worm tower and also you know different sort of composting systems and, and how to make a no-dig garden. So I find it really really useful because it's one of those things there's you know oh, what was the figure something like 10 billion kilograms of coffee produced every year and every day there's something like two billion cups of coffee they're drunk first thing you know when people wake up in the morning it's a huge amount of coffee well over 90 percent of the coffee grounds end up in landfill and in landfill it is actually just becoming uh, methane and a, and a problem so we can turn this into an incredible solution there's a lot of really innovative um, young entrepreneurs doing some interesting things with it some of the things um, uh, one of the things that's been used a lot is actually using it as the foundation the, um, the material to grow mushrooms and that works really really well there's um, some companies now um, collecting it and turning it into into cups the material uh, for that so for takeaway uh, cups like reusable cups. Um, there's so another company that's blending um, plastic, uh, re recycling plastic and coffee grounds and making sneakers, runners. And there's another group uh, that are actually compressing, compressing the, the coffee grounds and turning it into fibrics. Um, so there's all these different innovations that are coming up now saying and this is part of the circular economy thinking what what can you do with the waste and a key principle in permaculture is about um, trying to produce no waste and so when we can think about these various streams of waste that exist both in our homes and in our communities and try and come up with innovative ways so if you've got a worm farm or worm tower I mean your simple way to use it at home you can add up to 25% of it into your worm farms you can add it like I said into your soil into your compost um, or you could even experiment inoculating it and, and making your own mushrooms and, and fire logs too it's something you could try at home so what I do when I get a collection I'll just come out into a into a um, oh sorry I was going to say one other thing another really good thing for it is actually as a face scrub so you can take a little handful of this fresh coffee grounds before it goes mouldy or anything so one or two days old is fine now you can either just mix it with a bit of water and use it as a face scrub straight away or you can actually mix it in um, with some coconut oil and have it as a little jar that you keep um, on your on your on your bathroom bench. So it's really great as an exfoliant. Uh, so there's lots of things actually we can use uh, as exfoliants, as face products that are either from our garden or from things like this. And if you actually look in some of the aisles of some of the expensive beauty products, you'll see products that contain coffee grounds. So you can make your own really simply. I'll put a link down below too for, for some of those little recipes as well. So anyway, when I've got some, I just come out and tip it down into my worm tower. And then uh, if I have some food scraps, mix that in and always top top off my uh, worm farm with the worm tower with a little bit of hay on top. And then um, I have a lid somewhere and that goes on the top so it's got some holes in it so it can still breathe and that's it. 
and then I'll, the next time I come out with some, I'll put it into another one, the next time into another one, and finally come back to this. So I always make sure too that I add a bit of extra moisture into this and, and a mix of greens and browns. And then the, the um, compost worms that are in these towers are really happy and they love the coffee grounds. I don't know whether they're enjoying the caffeine and they work really fast or whether it's just a really nice ingredient that they can, uh, they can integrate really quickly into some beautifully rich soil. So thanks for joining me for another Live at Five in my permaculture garden. I'll put all the links below that I've been talking about and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.